Ruth Dillon is going to talk to us about her involvement with the Coffin Project. Hello everyone, my name is Ruth Dillon and I'm a creative practitioner based here on Merseyside. And thank you, Craig, just for reminding me I'm a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, straight to the project. I was uh, kind of commissioned to work with Gina as a production manager. So in this world, nothing is certain but tax and death, which we all know. Now, my personal experience was a few years ago when my mum was diagnosed with cancer. Within four weeks, she was dead. This is my mum, Patricia. Uh, you know, she's not the first person. Within about two years, I lost four people, two of my dearest friends from suicide and two from cancer. And I was a kind of a doula for both my mum and my best friend. So I do have personal experience, but in that, oh, my mum and dad in Liverpool many years ago. You know, around this time, I went to a party with, I think Gina was present, and, you know, she'd spoken about the coffin, the, the, the concept of the experience, um, of what she'd experienced when her father had died, which was some years ago. And that threw up certain questions for me. Um, yeah, a few of them were around the value and the exploitation, you know, around the death industry. And here's Gina. She's an innovator and a collaborator and the founder of Coffin. So some of these questions, um, I couldn't really answer on my own. So why is the process so impersonal of the funeral industry? You know, why are people exploited when they're most vulnerable? Because I certainly couldn't cope with making choices. And what could I do to create a positive change? I was left with these questions. I didn't really have any way to go with them. And that's when, you know, Gina kind of came into my life and, and, and said, would you like to get involved? So in that process, I'm, I'm a big believer in collaboration and ideas and in change. So the Hegelian dialectic, a problem, a reaction, a solution. I did have a problem, I did have a reaction, but I didn't have the solution. And that's where ideas, vision and change come into my life. So I tend to try and collaborate with people who are artists, designers, innovators, and even scientists. You know, and a big component of that has to be community. So we had a procession which was a procession of, it, originally it was going to be many, many coffins, which were customized and designed by local artists. And I think this was one of the first ones which Gina's daughter um, created and designed. So in that process, this is at James's studio. This is one of the hydro printing. It's not a completely hydro printing, it's a little bit of customization, which I liked. Um, in this process, I got to meet lots and lots of people. We went through the city. We went to the Blue Coat. We went to, by St. Luke's Church, we had to negotiate lots of different um, kind of spaces. And Ruth Gould was with us and Steph, another girl. There were two women who were, you know, negotiating the landscape in a wheelchair. It threw up many conundrums to us as individuals. Oh, this is one of my particular favorites. It's a Viking um, longship which is a great, great, beautiful image and a, a great way to go out. This is another one. Yeah, so anyway, we go, through to the, we go through the city. We ended up at the Oratory, which is a mausoleum. It's St. James Cemetery, a beautiful and fitting place um, to visit and view them. But beyond this, I want to come back to... A, a, I just want to ask anyone, does anybody recycle here? Show of hands. Does anybody want to continue to recycle and, and collaborate and be together? Anyone? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because because I'm just saying to you, the, whilst this was an artwork, oh, there's Bashar's commissioned piece. While this is an artwork, it's also a business. And we're going to go live on Kickstarter soon. So if you're interested and you know anyone, a great way to... Oh, this is a procession of the Blue Coat. I think a great way to kind of communicate around the notion of dying and mortality is to have a discussion. You can create your own coffin. You can collaborate, innovate, get involved. You could do any design you wanted. So if you really want to get involved and collaborate and maybe open up those discussions, get involved with, with us at Coffin. You know, ideas at Coffin. Grab Gina at the end, any of us. And, you know, 
Beyond that, go out and live your life fully. Tolstoy, Kierkegaard, the greatest philosophers of our society often say that when we are faced with death, it is then we begin to live. It shouldn't be something worth fighting off. So thanks a lot. Enjoy. Enjoy.